pass by Euclid and a solo shot by Tyler Flowers. And that's deep into right center field. And nobody's going to get it. And there is the break, however. There's a break, is right. Couldn't tell if that hit the top, stuck, or bounced over, and it bounced over. So a big break. We talked about the power of Pennington from the left side, and he shows it to us again. This is very similar to the one last night. It looked like it went through the fence. Looked funny. That's what I'm saying. I, I didn't. I couldn't tell if it stuck in the top or not. John Welke explaining it to him. It looked like it went through it. It's kind of strange. I've seen much of anything like that. Now it stays in the park. We know that. Right there it hits in the park and then. That's where I thought it stuck underneath there. I didn't see it come down. <laughs> Nor did I. Wow. David Copperfield. Must have been out in right center. Now he's going to go check for the baseball but. One way or the other, the ball went out of play. Be like going into the Ivy at Wrigley. <laughs> That's right. They didn't go after it. Oh, it's stuck underneath in the padding. That's what it looked like in real time. Kicked off that little padded part and then went right up underneath the fence. So we catch a break. How many times is that going to happen? And what Melvin is going to say is you have the discretion in that situation to allow the man to score, which he would have had the ball been in play, but I think that's a ground rule. That's what I'm getting ready to say. Not if it's a ground rule. Right. There is no discretion on a ground rule. I think that's exactly what Bob Davidson is telling Bob Melvin. Are you sure? Yes, I wouldn't tell you I was sure if I wasn't sure. Fan interference is a different story. 